In today's video, I'm celebrating three straight years of daily uploads by opening some of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh products. What's up guys, we're back with another daily opening. We've been doing this for the last three straight years. I've been either doing a video or a live stream. There was two times I did a short back in the very, very early days, but uh, that doesn't usually count anymore. It's got to be a video. It's got to be a live. I've been doing that for three straight years on this day. So to celebrate that, I grabbed a few awesome products such as a Samurai Assault Special Edition. This has 10 special editions inside. You can get the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card because there's Strike and Neos in here. There's a lot of really fun. I just really like this product because there's a lot of different sets in here. There's three different sets, a lot of potential like Ghost Rares. You can get the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card, of course. You can get some nice secret rares at a strike in Neos. I really like opening this. And we're not just gonna open one thing today because, you know, it's a three-year special. We're gonna have a long video. Sit back, relax, grab your popcorn. We also have Judgment of the Light Deluxe Edition because, you know, chick latte has gotta have some of that on a special video. I also have a Clash of Rebellion Special Edition. We still have not pulled the Ghost Rare out of here. I love the Red Eyes Flare Metal. It's one of my favorite Ghost Rares, so I really wanna pull that. And then I have a bunch of random packs. Couldn't be a special without having Metal Raiders in it. We have at least one pack of that. We got some Maze. We got a couple of Ghosts from the past too. Then we've got some old school Lost Millennium, Power of the Duelist, Pharaoh Servant, and Extreme Victory. We've opened up a few of these packs recently because I did pick up some of those. So I'm pretty excited for this video. Should be pretty long. So prepare for a long experience. Hopefully you guys like it. And we also have a giveaway. I'll be giving away a display of Ghosts from the past too. I don't have it out, so it'll pop up on the screen. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below what's your favorite product we opened in this video and what's your favorite video from the last three years of uploads. Okay, let's get to it. Let's start with the uh, Clash of Rebellion Special Edition. We'll start off with that. And I want to mention, by the way, I am caught up on the giveaways. I've been doing, you know, we got behind because of the, the move to the new house and everything, but I caught up super happy. I mean, those stress me out when I get way behind. So fortunately, we caught up and uh, there's a couple super rares right right there. That's pretty nice. So go to the community tab. It's on my channel page. You just got to go to the, click on my little face that you can see down there. But then you just go to uh, one of the tabs. So it'll be video tab, community tab, all the different stuff. Go to the community tab and then see if you want anything. I announced them all there. So go back. You can even go back to before that last time. See if, because I've done one for like the last week and then one with like 35 different winners. Roma Garden, we have Mystery Shell Dragon. So see if you want anything. We have Crystal Rose. Oh, and a Romage Rosemary started off already with a nice pull. All right, good start to this three-year special opening. I cannot believe it's been three years. Like, it snuck up on me this time. I was looking at the calendar, like, planning out stuff, and then I realized, wait a second, that's the three-year anniversary. I was like, I hadn't even thought of it. I was thinking we were, like, two and a half years, you know, not really that close, and then all of a sudden, bam, we're at three-year anniversary. It's pretty nuts that we have been going for that long. Like, we went before that, but, like, daily for three straight years. So shout out to everybody who's been watching for the last three years, whether it's been three, two, one year, one day, whatever it is. Thank you guys. But especially you guys have been around that long. That's pretty amazing. Let me know in the comments if you are a three year watcher. You've been watching since then. Ignite Lancer and we have Super Heavy Samurai Blowtorch. Some people say they've watched every video you know, recently or even ever, which I mean, I don't know if you guys, that's even possible because we have so many videos, but if you're even close, shout out to you guys. That is amazing support. I appreciate you guys. 4MH Stilts, we've had a lot of appreciation for you guys recently, just because you guys have been very clutch for me over the last few years, you know, allowing me to do this as a job. It's been pretty, pretty fun. We have a camel up and we've achieved some pretty awesome goals. If you guys were at the whatnot stream the other day, you know what I'm talking about. Metal Raiders, uh, if you weren't at the, the whatnot stream the other day, don't worry, there will be plenty of other content made out of that. But yeah, we've we've achieved some big opening goals. We've achieved some goals, you know, for the channel, stuff like that. So it's been pretty cool. Newatory, what's that mean again? Can't remember. We got Pale Beast, Ruxin 34, wouldn't be, look, it wouldn't be an opening without <laughs> opening some Metal Raiders. Ancient Lizard Warrior, Blade Fly, and uh, Bistro Butcher, Butchering the Bistro. Okay, I'm gonna get this Judgment of Light Deluxe Edition open as well. We've opened, I feel like we opened one of these the other day. I was able to pick up a few of these. Uh, I do like these because they have obviously Judgment of the Light packs, which has the Chicolates. How do you open this again? We're gonna finish off with the Samurai Assault Special Edition because you know that is just the uh, absolute best product we have here today, and it's one of my favorite overall, like all of Yu-Gi-Oh, just because of like Special Edition randomness, all the different packs. You know, it's super fun. Which I've already said that in the intro, but I just want to reiterate, I really like that set. Okay, we're gonna get this out of here. We're gonna get all our packs. We got some promos, some sleeves, I think. And there's another pack trying to hide in there. You will be opened. You cannot escape me okay look, what in the world is going on here we got like is this is this thing like moldy what is this maybe not mold it's dirty it's just dirty that is strange yeah, i knew when i pulled this out it felt a little gritty i was like what is going on with this 
Turns out it's just a little gross. That is interesting. All right, so hopefully the packs are fine. Uh, we'll find out, I guess. Let's see. Uh, promo pack right there. We've got, uh, you know, some sleeves. They aren't great, but I mean, I'm never going to run out of sleeves at this point, thanks to Magnificent Mavens. Uh, <laughs> literally never, uh, because I have literally hundreds of packs of sleeves. So I just use them to ship stuff and stuff like that. So yeah, it's at some point, yeah, it's, it's never gonna happen. So I'm hoping one day I can not have so many sleeves laying around, but it's kind of good, kind of bad, because I never run out. The bad side is they're everywhere. <laughs> we have Mecha Phantom Beast Cult Wing, we have Seraph Sage, we have Traptrix Vermelio, a Vein Betrayer, the Betrayer of Vein. All right, we're gonna like alternate between these and the other st stack of packs. Let me put these over here. Oh, I just grabbed two packs here. Maze of Millennia. I grabbed a couple of these because, you know, Bonfire is still an expensive card. So why not grab a couple here? We have the, oh, Oh yeah, it's fine. Wait. Oh yeah, they're all rares. That's right. Some of these don't look like rares with the names for some reason. Triangle O and a Photon Delta Wing. So we got something. It's always the Photon Delta Wing, it feels like. It's like, oh, we got something. It's just the Photon Delta Wing. So it's not that crazy. All right, let's try another one. Then we'll go back to Judgment of the Light. I can't wait to open the Samurai Soul. That's going to be fun. I hope we pull... I have pulled, finally, I have pulled the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card, but it was not for myself. So there is still a goal for me to pull the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card for myself, you know, like, so I can own it. Because right now I don't actually own a Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. I once had a PSA, not, no, twice had a PSA 9. Ended up selling those. PSA 9s, you know, if you don't pull them, they become easy to sell at some point. Because if you pull them, it's like, oh, I don't care what the grade is. You know, I got, got the memories and everything. But if you don't pull them, I didn't do the right pack trick here. This might be it. Okay, never mind. Uh, Archfiend Emperor and Mecha Phantom. But yeah, if you don't pull them, you're like, well, I guess I can sell. It's not a PSA 10, you know, so then you end up selling it. So hopefully I can pull one and then I can, you know, set it in for grade would be fun. Not necessarily, doesn't really matter what it is. We have a Super Defense Robot. We have Bujingi Turtle, Googly Eyes Drum Dragon. We have Star Seraph Sword, The Atmosphere, XC's Agent, Number Six. Okay, I did something completely wrong there. Number 66, Master Key Beetle. That thing is warped. Yeah, they definitely, there was some sort of like storage issue with these because, you know, we saw the the dirt and grime on the inside of it and then they're kind of warped. So that means like probably like the temperature they were in. It's not great. So kind of weird, but not the end of the world, really. I mean, the, I mean, if it's warped, you can always just flatten it out. We have Burfamet. We have the Altergeist. Desynchro, Phoenix Gear Freed. Not crazy. I did bring in some ghosts from the past too, because why not? It'd be fun. Fun to pull a ghost rare again. Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, PSA 10, especially Blue Eyes, PSA 10. That'd be nice. We have Visionary Gravito, Math of Edition, and a Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. I remember how hard that was to pull out of Armageddon. Let's try another one. We got some vintage packs to open today as well. Right before the special edition. Should be fun. We have Doom King, we have Ghost Trick. Visionary Gravito, we have Math Mech and uh, Sacred Waters in the Sky. I remember that was actually a few bucks when it first came out. Now I think it's completely worthless. One, two, three is what we're going to do. I really don't know. We have uh, Umbral Horror. We have Bujingi Wall, Wall Rider. We have Seraph Scout, Calibrator, Brother of the Firefist Caribou. We have Umbral Horror Uniform, Brotherhood of the Firefist Kirum, uh, Googly Eyes Drum Dragon. All right, the Googly Eyes have returned. Google those eyes, everyone. Let's pull a Ghost Rare right now. Here we go. One, two from the back. Ghost Rare, anything would be great, but we're really looking for DMG, Blue Eyes, something like that. Okay, that is neither of those. Not a Ghost Rare at all. Judgment of the Light. Uh, another thing we have not seen out of Judgment of the Light. I'm just going to throw this out there. Chicolates. We haven't seen it. One, two. What's going on with the back of that card? That corner is destroyed. We have Super Defense Robot, Star Seraph Sage, Shark Caesar. Bouge Infidel, Super Defense Robot Elephant, Flying C, we have Bujingi Crane. Wait, why is the rare? Did I only do two? Why is the rare there? That's okay, I'm, I'm confused now. Lost Millennium First Edition. The other time I opened this recently, what video was that? Yeah, the 50 vintage pack opening. We pulled three ultimates out of 10 packs, so I don't think we're gonna pull anything today out of this, just based on that. Uh, King of the Skull Servants is cool. We're probably not going to have very good luck with the ultimate rares because we've already pulled three of them. We have Final Ritual of the Ancients, Age of Gear Soldier, Gift of the Martyrs, Battery Charger, and... Okay, Token Feastable. I was like, maybe. Who knows? Not that time. Let's try Jodel, Judgment of the Light. Oh, whoa, what am I doing? One, two, three. I think it's three, right? You know, I did two last time. I remember now because I got distracted by the damaged corner. Shark Caesar. Swartz Child. I don't think that's how you say that, but... Reversal, we have Underworld Fighting and Xyz Revenge Shuffle. Come on, Jodel. Are these first dead? I think they're unlimited, right? Yeah, they're unlimited. So unlimited uh, Star Deer would be cool. Like, we still have not pulled Chicolates. That was the whole point of these. Let's pull Chicolates. Intercept Tomatoes, a good one. 
I mean, I should probably pull that out because it's intercept tomato. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Swartz child, <laughs> Mega Man and Beast, and uh, oh yes, the Madolce Chocolate, Chica Chocolates. Let's go. First one pulled in quite a while. Last card, Magic. You love to see that. Oh no, I destroyed this pack. Oh well. TLM. Oh, we did get a nice card out of it though, an Elemental Hero Avian. I might, I might send in some of these commons. Uh, you know, like the Avians and stuff if they're centered. Monk Fighter, Miss Polymerization, Shifting Shadows. The Avian is really awesome. I mean, the Elemental Hero Avian. It's an awesome artwork. I love it. We have Bristinatrix, same thing, and uh, okay. Like, look at these artworks. These are amazing. If these were in like hollow, they would be worth quite a bit. That is amazing. Let's keep going. Let's keep pulling. Let's get some awesome stuff. Three from the back. Let's get a ghost rare. We have cheap, cheap, cheap. Super defense. I'm not gonna lie. It feels warped on the back. So maybe that means it's a foil. Who knows? I mean, all these cards are a little warped, but maybe they're more warped because of the foil. We jump it out. We have Brotherhood and it was a foil. I called it. We have Quillen, not Krillin, Quillen. That thing is... It's, yeah, it's it's pretty pringly. It's not like the worst I've ever seen, but it is pringly. Power of the Duelist have not been good for us. They have not been good for us at all. We have had bad luck opening Power of the Duelist. One, two, three, four. We have Black Stego, Fake Hero, Crop Circles, Destiny Hero Defender, Crystal's Dolphin, The Paths of Destiny, Ambulance Rescue Roid, Contact, and Alien Warrior. All right, one more pack of Judgment of the Light. Here we go. Let's see if we can get a Ghost Rare Star Eater. One, two, three. Or Chocolates would be nice. We have Junk Blader. Seize Reception. Trap Tricks. Nepothinithis. Reverse Glasses. We have the Calibrator. Fishborg Archer. Archfiend Cavalry. Oh, and a Shape Sister. I feel like I always pulled this one as well. Man, these are pringly for sure. Pringling up. Okay, let's try another Power of the Duelist. These have been pretty rough for us. I think maybe we did pull an Aqua Neos recently, which was pretty good. We really want to get an ulti, but we have been, it's been pretty rough trying to get ultis out of here. Fake here. We have Black Stego, D Spirit, Flying Saucer, and Muscle. We have Air, <laughs> Air Neos, Elemental Hero Neos. Hopefully, we get an Air Neos later. Wonder Garage. Destiny Hero Dasher. So yeah, these look uh, they look pretty good. I mean, they, they don't look like they're sketch or anything, but we haven't had luck pulling anything. Pharaoh Servant, on the other hand, yeah, last time was rough as well. So we're hoping that we can turn that around. Buster Blader would be amazing. I love that card. Even Unlimited would be great. Thousand Eyes are Strict, Bomb Barber, Beetle. We have the Two-Headed Fire Dragon. This is a classic card for me. I really remember it. Gust, Insect Barrier. We got Spike Bot. Four star Ladybug of Doom and the Mad Sword Beast. So it continues. Corners of these are all messed up, man. They're all messed up right out of the pack. Okay, let's try an extreme victory first edition as well. We have now these have been good. We've been able to pull stuff. We pulled an ultimate rare junk berserker. No, this is the one I had to do this pack trick for. It was that one, not Judgment of Light. We have Mechlord Army of Skiel, Red Scrap, or Red Carpet, there's Scrap Kong. Mechlord Army, Metal Seeker. TG1, we have Destruction, we have Brain Hazard. Oh, what a secret rare! Mechlord Emperor Skiel. I don't think this is a big money or anything, but it is a secret rare first edition. We really want the Mystic Piper, because that card right now has gotten really expensive for some reason. So if we can pull any... Oh, I have a bunch of Extreme Victory. Let's open another one. Let's try it again. Give us your blessing with a Ghost Rare. We have not pulled a Ghost Rare Drunk Berserker before. Let's add that to the list. We have Scrap Kong, TGSX1, Psychic Reactor, ESP Amplifier, Mechlord Factory, Morphtronic Lantron, Red Carpet, TG Rush Rhino, and Mechlord Army of Wazel. Okay, four packs left before we get into the Samurai's Assault, which will give us a chance at the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card that we have pulled once, but not for myself. Here we go. We have Gradius. We have Science Soldier, Driving Snow, Harpy's Brother, Classic, Chain of Javelin, Overdrive, Solemn Wishes, Wing Weaver, and we have Ayabusa Knight. Ferris Servant continues to let us down. Not feeling too good about those. I'm trying to think if we pulled, I think we did pull an Imperial Order out of that batch at some point. So it's not like we haven't pulled anything ever, but it has been pretty rough in terms of like ratios. Esper Girl, ex no, Extreme Victory has been pretty good when it comes to ratios. Lancer, Lindworm, Mechlord Army. We have the Resolute Mechlord Army. We even pulled a secret Mechlord card earlier. Full House, 
Another secret psychic shockwave. So we're getting a bunch of secrets. We're just not getting the, the secret that I'm looking for. Psychic shockwave is a Genzo card, though. Look at him in there. He is electrifying everyone. Okay, very awesome. Back-to-back -back secrets, basically. I think it might, might have been two out of three. I'm not sure. Pharaoh Servant, I believe you can pull something. Come on. For the three-year anniversary, just make it happen. One, two, three, four. Let's go. We have Twin-Headed Fire Dragon. We have Invitation to a Dark Sleep. Mystic Probe. Solomon's Law Book. The Eye of Truth. Regulation of Tribes, Skull Mariner, Cold Wave, Appropriate, eh. Oh, never mind. There's there's only a rare. This is not Extreme Victory. So, yeah, they continue to let us down. Never mind. Extreme Victory, though, two secrets out of only like a couple packs. So, I don't expect too much from this pack, but maybe it has a Ghost Rare if we're lucky. Three, flippity flip. Let's see. Mech Timed Blast, Catapult Dragon, Scarlet Security, Mokotan, Six Samurai, Resolute Mech Lord Army, Axe Dragon Hoot. Psybeast and uh, Karakuri Ninja MDL 7749 Nanashik. Nanashik. That sounds wrong for some reason, but that's what it says. Okay, we are on to the Samurai's Assault. The big moment. I can't really show this very well on the screen because it is huge. Uh, we have 10 special editions in here. They all have one Strike and Eos pack, so we have 10 packs to open potentially for the Forbidden Yu Gi Oh card. They also have, what is it? Uh, man, what's it called? The one with Odin is called Storm of Ragnarok. Yeah, and then there's one more. One more set. What is it? I can't remember. But okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to pull all the packs out of here because, you know, going through these one at a time takes a really long time. So I'm going to do that and I will be right back. All right, I have removed all 30 packs, which the, the third set that I couldn't remember was Crimson Crisis. So we have not pulled out Red Dragon Archfiend either. Then you get 10 Elder of the Six Samurai. These are pretty warped as well. They came from a different spot, so... You know, warping is just a thing that happens with the cards if you're not careful. But no big deal. Let's start opening. Let's see if we can pull something amazing to celebrate three years of uploads. I'm pretty excited. I want to pull a Odin Ghost Rare. We have pulled it before, but uh, that does not make me not want to pull it. There's also Max C in here. Some really good options. Max C is, a, I mean, everybody loves that card. Top Runner. We have the, yeah, the Super Battle Droid running. We have CN's Daredevil and the Six Strike Triple Impact. So that is not an awesome start, but we can turn it around. This is special edition. So you never know the ratio. It's a bunch of random packs, you know, three different packs. You, we could pull like 25 foils or we could pull like three. Hopefully it's 25. That'd be pretty amazing. That'd be a good way to celebrate. Three from the back. I don't know the exact pack trick here. So Trap Director, Wi-Fi, Fake Explosion, we have Re Re Revengeful Servant. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Twin Sword Marauder, Raptor Wing Strike, Assault Slash, BES Big Court, MK2, and Mortronic Rusty Engine. Okay, our first chance. We're going to go, yeah, alternate between the three sets. So our first chance at the Elemental Hero, Aeroneos, the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Here we go. One, two, three. I think you can do four on this one. Uh, yep, looks like I'm right. Anti-Fusion Device, because it's 2007, so it's before rares and foils. Radiant Spirit, we have Grin Tactician of Dark World. Turn of the Six Samurai, Six Samurai Zanji, Six Samurai Yuriza, Umbral Soul, Advanced Ritual Art, and we have Twister. That is not it. The Twister is, sure, it's a tornado. Great. All right, that's only one special edition, but we did go over three, so it's not the best start ever. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this longer video. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the, the videos for the last few years. If you are a new viewer, I have like 1500 plus videos, probably more like 16, 1700 now. So if you have not seen those, go check them out because there's some pretty good pulls along the way. And, and there's a bunch that like what I do, like sometimes do top pulls and stuff like that. They don't make that because sometimes I forget about them, you know, so there's some good stuff to see in there. If you have not seen it already, we've opened a lot of different products and a lot of different type of videos. So go give it a chance, checking out some older videos. We have Trojan, Gladiator Beast, Dark Tanker. Because here's the thing about these openings, they don't really like, you know, you can always watch an opening. Things, that the prices may change in some ways, but the cards are always gonna stay the same. That's the cool part. So you can go back and watch those and maybe listen to like, oh, what was the market like back then? That's always kind of fun for me to do with some other people. Go check it out if you haven't already. One, two, three, four. This is an Air Neos potential, right? What did I just do? Ultimate rare forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card! No way! Oh my goodness! I did like a I did five, I guess. Oh what just happened? No, you can't get a rare in a oh that's why! No way! I just pulled it! Air Neos! We are pulling some amazing cards recently! Oh, talk about the way to celebrate three years. Me screwing up like normal and then pulling a card that I've never pulled for myself. I've never pulled the ulti forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. I pulled the ultra once, ultimate rare, 
Air Neos. Unbelievable. I just bought this the other day. I wasn't even planning to do it for this video. I just bought this box and I was like, I like this. I like this. Uh, I guess it's not really a set, but I like this product. So I'm just going to buy it and maybe we'll open it at some point. And oh my goodness, was it worth it? Yeah, it was. Oh my goodness. Air Neos has been pulled. And of course, I screwed up the pack. That's still amazing. Oh my gosh, we did it. I can't believe that. Not only was it not the ulti or the ultra, it was the ulti Air Neos. That, and guess what? I get to keep it. That is the best part about it. I love it. That is so fun. Is that our first foil? It's our first foil in, the, in this thing. <laughs> okay, well, you know what else is cool? It's completely random. We could pull another one. We could pull a Ghost Rider. We could pull a Max C. There's a lot of potential still. I can't believe we just pulled that. And an Ultra Rux and Special too. Oh my gosh. Which, if you are new to the channel, Ultra Rux and Special is when uh, you do the pack trick and you put the foil to the front by accident. That's what we just did right there. That's the Ultra Rux and Special. The Super Rux and Special is where uh, you move multiple cards. So like, if I'm going for the foil like this and we move like two or three cards at once right to the foil, that's the Super Rux and Special. The regular Rux and Special is when you skip one extra card. Like if I was trying to pull one, I pull two. That's the Rux and Special. So just to explain for you guys who are like, what is he talking about? That is what we mean by that. So that the Ultra Rux and Special is one of the worst ones you can do because it completely ruins the pack. You know, we go right to the rare. But sometimes when you pull a great card, it's totally OK. And you know what? I always seem to Ultra Rux and Special when we pull good cards. I don't know what it is about that. Maybe because the foils are easier to kind of like pull off there and maybe I don't know. Maybe they just slide off easier. It's easier to Rux and Special. Who knows? Twister, we have a secret rare, Radiant Jero. I've never seen this card in my life. Strike and Neos, what is this secret rare? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, Radiant Jero. That artwork seems a little, I don't know, primitive maybe? I don't know, it's kind of, maybe not primitive, but simple, I guess. Like there's not a lot going on there. Okay, interesting, that is, that's pretty weird, but okay. We're now two for three with a secret and an ulti out of Strike and Neos. That's the fun part about these special editions. One, two, three. We've got Scrap Shark, we've got Karakuri Gold Dust. Linja Solf, we have, we have, wow, we have pulled, wow, we have pulled a mate, we've pulled a Blue Eyes White Dragon first edition. When I'm recording this, it was yesterday. For the last two days, I have been on fire when it comes to pulls. That is amazing. We have Assault Mercenary, which that's a spoiler alert for a future video, so keep an eye out. The, the title and thumbnail are probably going to spoil it for when we post the uh, actual video of that poll because... You know, it was a live stream. A lot of you guys already know that I pulled. I posted on Instagram, stuff like that. So I'm not going to bother with like not spoiling it in the title. We're probably just going to say we finally did it or something like that. Because, you know, we finally did it after like five, six years. We have Iru, Alien Psychic, Anti-Fusion Device, Umbral Soul, Chain of Fear, Reflector Ray. We have Married at Might, Lycanthorpe, Angel Rules, and Emblem of the Awakening. That is cool. Okay. What a video today, though. I mean, Air Neos, that is another one that has eluded us for a long time. And man, I've now pulled both the Ultra and the Ulti of the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. We have Wadki, Worm, we have Hourglass of Courage, Mimir, Shein, Smoke Signal, and Barrier Resonator. All right, Crimson Crisis. Give us I mean, another card we've not pulled. Red Dragon Archfiend, Assault Mode, Ghost Rare. We've got, oh, I almost spoiled what was back there. Fake Explosion. It was a effect monster, so maybe that means it could be what we're looking for. Wing Strike. This would be an amazing one if it is. Another secret. Death is Goddess of Light. It wasn't the ghost, but hey, wow, that is. We are on fire right now. We are pulling everything. Secret rare Teth is Goddess of Light. Not bad. Okay, we are absolutely on fire right now. Uh, pulling left and right. I mean, how many secrets is that? Like four or something? <laughs> One, two, three. It might be three. And then the big ulti. Okay, puppet plant. Emblem. We haven't pulled that many supers. We're just getting high rarity, which is the fun part about these special editions. I say it all the time. They are not cheaper necessarily, but they are more fun to open. So, yeah, Grand Mole would be an amazing ulti. Come on. Okay. Yeah, Grand Mole would be really awesome. And DD Crow. Yeah, another big. DD Crow is our next hunt now. We've already gotten the Forbidden Yu Gi Oh card. I guess it's DD Crow now. We got to pull. Let's get a Ghost Rare right here out of store. We have Nordic. We have Blackwing Kalima the Haze. Yeah, the cool part about this is there's cool ultis in one set, and then there's Ghost Rares in the other two sets. March toward Ragnarok and Temple of the Six. There we go. There is a super rare. Temple of the Six is pretty good too. And that's not bad. Another foil. We are just foiling it up right now. Crimson Crisis. Bless us with something big because so far, I don't know. I guess, I guess they gave us, what is it? Tethys maybe was in Cr Crimson Crisis. We have Morphtronic. Sending Lost Star, Assault Overload, Morphtronic Map, Half or Nothing, Submarine Frog, Assault Mode Activate, Hyper Synchron, and Black Salvo. And I said we weren't getting supers, now we get two in a row, so there we go. They're like, don't worry, we got you. More super rares, 
You know what else we got? Man, striking Eos has been good to us so far. I'm hoping for, uh, I guess, I mean, the cool part is you can get, that's like hobby ulti. You can just get one out of these. So that's the crazy part. Like, I didn't know if you could actually do that. Maybe because it's unlimited, maybe because striking Eos was weird about hobby retail. I really don't know why we were able to get that, but Eos Plation Glow Moss probably has something to do with being unlimited, I think. I don't know. I can't remember, but I'll take it. I'm not mad. We have the Cosmic Compass. I wonder if it's just like every single ulti you can pull out of these packs uh, for Strike and Neos. I don't know. There's the uh, running Super Battle Droid. Walk key, hope for escape. Cyber Shield. Now we're cooling down a little bit because we were... I mean, we were on fire right there. I mean, it was pretty crazy what we were doing. Secrets, ultis. It was nuts. Trap Eater. No ghosts, though. Six Samurai. Morphtronic Mix-Up. Spell Reactor. This is great. I love when the, the specials have amazing pulls. They bore the Spear. Soul Armor and Psychic Sword. So it's always fun. It feels like it was worth it. Even though like, you know, the price of this Samurai Soul Special Edition, it's like 500 bucks. So it's it's not cheap. So I, even the Air Neos will not probably make the money back. I think that's probably a $250 card unlimited, something like that, which is amazing for an unlimited version. Uh, Gorilla Dark will be a flashbang, but even then, you know, like $500 pack. It's not like really, oh, that's a secret, I think. No, it's not a secret. The foils are so much lighter out of Strike and Neos. Very interesting. So a Neospatian Air Hummingbird. Another Strike and Neos pull. Wow, okay, good stuff. So yeah, even if you don't make your money back, it just feels worth it when you pull that awesome pull, you know, and it's during a special and to celebrate. So it definitely feels like this was an awesome video and totally worth Gamer Damarung, we have House of Hourglass, not House of Courage. Tanganasker. Oh, 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 oh. Synchro. Synchro. Odin can be Ultra Ulti Ghost. Ultra Ulti Ghost. We want the Ghost. Let's see if it's the Odin. It's 4K attack. No, not, not him. It's going to be like Thor or Loki, I guess. Thor. Ultra Rare. That's pretty good. This could be Ulti. Well, we'll take the Ultra as well. There's a Thor. Pretty amazing card. We'll take it. Uh, we have Ultras. We have Supers. We have. Wow, we have, I think, every rarity except Ghost. So that's the last thing we need. Yeah, you heard that, Crimson Crisis. The last thing we need is a Ghost Rare. So uh, do your thing right here. We have Mysterious Triangle, Trojan Gladiator Beast, Hydra Viper, Nightwing Sorceress, Verdant Sanctuary, Cross Sword Beetle, Salt Teleport, Alien Overlord, and Royal Swamp Eel. More supers. Like, the number of foils we're pulling right now is absolutely nuts. We are down to seven packs left. Three more packs of Strike of Neos. They've been good so far. Can they continue the goodness? No more Ultra Rux specials. Of course, I figured it out on the Air Neos pack. Destructive Cyclone, Flashbang, Firestorm Prominence, Synthesis Spell, Fusion of Hour. Another super. Ever since I said we weren't getting supers, we pulled like six of them. This is crazy. Great Shogun Chien. That's a good card as well. That would be a really nice ulti. So we've only opened 24 packs and we pulled, feels like a ton of foils. Like, I don't know how many it is, but it's probably like eight to 10 somewhere in there. Oh, give us another. We've got one ultra. We've got like five or six supers. We've got a few secrets. We've got a ulti. Scrap arm. Let's see. Another secret, the golden apples. The only reason you know this card is if you played with Weevil and Duel Links in like 2017, 2018. That's the only reason you'd ever know what that card does. Yeah, okay, interesting. Uh, it, it, which I say that, and there could have been some time before when it was used, but you know, it's some other burn deck, I guess, maybe. One, two, three. Crimson Crisis, I feel like has done the least. I mean, they, they've pulled a, one secret rare, I think, a couple supers. No, I mean, well, maybe they've done more than, I don't know, Debris Dragon. It's hard to say. <gasps> Another ulti! They heard me, though, like, uh, no, we've done some. Life Force Harmonizer, this is not a big one, but it is an extremely creepy one. I mean, I'm not going to say what this looks like, but you guys know what I'm talking about. That is, that's a pretty weird looking card. Okay, not the best, but it is an ulti, so I'm not mad. We have now pulled a second ulti. We pulled four or five secrets. This might be the craziest special edition we've ever opened, which we've had some big ones. Remember, we opened uh, Storm of Ragnarok special edition. I think that was for Josh with two maxi in it. That was pretty amazing. We haven't gotten that yet. That would be pretty big. Gorilla Dark Roy of Sage of Silence. <sighs> and a Grand Neos. No way, dude. If this was an ultimate rare, we would have gone crazy. But an ultra Grand Neos. Wow, we are pulling insane today. Ultra Elemental Hero Grand Neos. We're gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to go through these ratios in a second. Storm of Ragnarok, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. These ratios are nuts. One, two, three. Uh, Divine Relic, we have a Legendary Six Samurai, Cyber Shield, Gamar, Token Sunday, Blackwing Bristow, Tyrant's Tirade, Scrapworm, uh-oh. 
Oh, and a Loki. So no Odin, but we got Loki and Thor. What in the world is happening? Okay, so I just checked. We have pulled two ultis, three secrets, three ultras, five supers. And that's just in the special edition. Then we had two secrets before that out of Extreme Victory. So 13 foils have been pulled out of 28 packs and there's still two left. So we could go 15 out of 30, which would be 50%. That'd be insane. Especially with all this high rarity, like including Ultra, that's like eight high rarity guards. Twin Sword Marauder, we have Raptor Wing, we have Assault Slash, Assault Armor. Ah, another ulti! Bone Crusher! Come on, dude! Come on! That's a third ulti. So we're at three ultis, three secrets, three ultras, nine high rarity cards, 14 total foils pulled out of 29 packs. It all comes down to Strike and Eos. We might get a 50% pull rate, which on Yu-Gi-Oh cards is absolutely insane. But even if new Yu-Gi-Oh cards, that's crazy. So for old Yu-Gi-Oh cards, that is absolutely absurd, especially pulling not just supers. It's a bunch of like rare stuff too, like ultis and stuff. Bone Crusher. Okay, just give us a uh, DD Crow Ultimate Rare. Why not? We have Raging Earth. Last pack magic. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And shout out to you guys for watching for the last three years. It's been pretty amazing. Wow, this is insane. I can't believe this. Ritual Ceiling. We have uh, Yaichi. It's been the perfect three year special. Since the spell, we have a DD Crow. I asked for DD Crow, not an ulti, but we did get one. Oh, okay. We're not going to get that 50% pull rate, but we were that close. That was an amazing amazing opening. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffin Zadoom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Another Toy Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.